So today we are going to work on a high speed travel system to travel in between different planets. So here now as you see the ship travels so fast which allows us to go near the, the next planet like this. So if I turn to the other planet now and press H to engage the hyperspeed, I will see. It goes to the next planet, like this. So after we reach that planet, we can continue to go to the planet. So once we are near the planet, the hyperspeed is automatically disengaged. And once we enter the gravity field, the ship will orient to match the surface to, and it will become parallel to the surface like this see this happens automatically and now we can start descending and if I want I can go around the planet as well let me speed up a little bit slow down and land it so just like that I can take off let me and let me speed up a little bit so once we reach the once we go out of the gravity field now we are again in the space and here we can again focus on the other planet and can do a hyper speed travel and just like before I can land on this planet as well let me speed up a little bit to demonstrate that and now we entered the gravity field Let's find some level space, maybe over here, maybe over there, and descent. Yeah, so this is what we are going to do today. We have already worked on this gravity systems and all other systems. We are only going to focus on the jump into the planets in hyperspeed. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel once you become a member in the Patreon page. So you can download anything without a limit. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so first of all, let me set this shuttle to auto process so that we can start in the shuttle we don't have to get into the shuttle and start the engine and do all the things so yeah then let me open the shuttle blueprint but calling this shuttle is wrong I'm gonna rename this to BP spaceship yeah because when I call it shuttle it's not a ship it's shuttles as I know and they only used to land and they go up with the help of a rocket but our ship is not like that it can go to the space on its own so yeah that's not very important okay now to enable the hyperspeed here I think I implemented this edge this is just a system to toggle the speed change the speed so i can easily go in between planets so i'm going to use the extend the same thing using edge key let me collapse this i press b and now here when we press edge first thing is we need to identify the location that we need to travel if there is no planet that we have targeted i don't want to engage the hyperspeed 
I don't want to get lost in a space. Okay, so how do we determine where we are going? Mm, let's do a line trace like this. Line trace by Shannon. And I'm not sure I have enabled collisions for the planets. Planet sphere. So for the planet sphere, uh, it's no collisions, but I'll set it to custom ignore everything and use the visibility only and collision enabled i'll set it to quarry only now we should be able to determine planets with line trace so starting position is get tag to location and the end is uh, we can we need to get the center point that we look through the camera so the camera get forward vector and let's multiply this by a very large value like this and add it to the starting point so here we have our end point and this is the start point I'll Add a debug type as well, and we are using the visibility. Now, let's see. Let's first test if we get the line trace response. We do, but it's in the middle, it's starting in the middle of the ship, and our front view is blocked by the ship because ship is directly in the center of the screen. So, maybe we should add some offset to the camera pro uh, we already have a thousand let's make it four thousand mm, that may be too much let's call it three thousand uh, that seems fine yeah now it's easy okay now the next step is we need to determine where we should check whether we get a hit so here if this is true we can get the hit result and we have this actor here which is going to be the planet and we need to check if planet is uh, if this hit actor is a planet or some object that we can travel to so to determine that do we have a interface for the planet yeah we do great now yeah is travel destination maybe instead of calling this a planet we should call this something like a space object with gravity because not just planet we might have other objects as well like large asteroids mm -hmm. Let's not dwell on that for now. Is travel destination? Yes. No, let's call it travel destination. So this should be true in order to identify this hit object as a planet. So is travel destination. If this is true, then only we should travel and one more thing we should not go directly into the uh, location of this actor if this is a planet we should go right next to the right outside the gravity field so i think oh first we need to implement this is travel destination yes and also we need to know the gravity field radius of the travel destination so we already have get gravity radius function so from here we can get gravity radius this and let me make it lower okay 
so now we have the radius using this we can identify the location that we need to travel and before we start traveling we should orient our shape towards that target point so for that yeah first we need to identify the target point so uh, not really we are already looking at the direction so no it's not simple as that we need to think about it so here let's say this is the planet and the ship is here wait this is the ship and we do a line trace like this towards the planet but we get a gravity field from the center of planet like this let's say this is the radius of the gravity field this red line so that would mean from this point i think instead of traveling to this point we should travel from here to this point to this point we're a little outside of that point so that we can stay outside the gravity field so we can calculate that point mm, here we have the hit location get the hit location and also we have the m normal we can multiply this normal from this gravity radius so and if we add it to the center point so we don't really need this we need the actor location get actor location and add it to this now here we have the this point so if we want to stay right outside maybe instead of directly using the gravity radius I do something like this multiply this by 1.1 so we will stay right outside the gravity field so this is the target point that we need to move to target now I'll but this difference may be a little upsetting because it it is different from the direction that we intend to move and the direction that we actually move okay therefore maybe we need something else instead of calculating it this way can we get the planet radius we can get the gravity radius okay let's add a new function get planet radius it should return radius okay now the planet i'll implement that as well oh it's we get it from uh, kilometers gravity field is not kilometers it's in unreal units therefore i'll multiply this by if i make it multiply this by thousand kilometers becomes meters and if if I multiply it by another hundred it becomes centimeters which is unreal unit okay now here uh, let's also get planet radius right and then let's subtract the gravity radius let's subtract planet radius from the gravity radius and multiply that by 1.1 and add it to the here instead of using the actor location i'll use this hit location mm, no ah yeah we can use the hit location but instead of this normal we might use the trace direction yeah that means um, unit direction vector from impact location to our ship so get actor location so this will give us the direction 
from the hit point towards the ship and I'll use it for the multiplication so we would actually get a point somewhere like this and that's the location we need to move so let's do move component to here the component is the root of the root component of the shuttle ship uh, rotation should be I'll keep the get actor location for now so wait no actor rotation the current rotation let's keep it for now and move it in five seconds right shall we test yeah it seems like working and it already entered the gravity field but that's fine that's not a problem actually but before we start when jumping into the hyperspeed i think we should orient our ship towards that direction maybe we should collapse this part so it becomes more unclear how to do that yeah oh ship okay that's clear right now as i said before we start moving the shape we need to rotate the shape so for that i'll well here in update camera this folder fw root by rotating this this is how i uh, change the or uh, change the rotation of the shape when i'm in space so all i need to do is just manually set in this fw root rotation to the camera rotation camera boom rotation so we can do that like this but we don't need to change the rotation location so get relative location and the rotation is same as the camera boom so get relative shortest path and I'll make it maybe two seconds and it's in it's out okay let's test yeah ship rotates great uh, also while, while I was testing I found a bug in our plant manager let me just quickly fix that as well it's actually here let me return oh, I already returned the process planet do I use it let me change this to close first because I need another variable outside here. Come on to variable sist planet and use it instead. Now here before I do this, if I already have a value in the closest planet, we can simply skip to this part. But if we do, we have to check if it is equal to this new closest planet if it is the same again we don't have to do anything but if it is not we have to update it as the as not the closest planet so set closest planet to false and then update planet And then the rest this okay uh, that's fixed and now the next step is we need some kind of a particle effect for the ship and to the hyperspeed travel but I think I'll leave that part for another day and now let me quickly test landing on the planet let me close the gate and it's yeah we went there now we are in the gravity field let me speed up a little bit We are 
19. Okay. All right. So we can take off also. Let me speed up and go into the outer space. They are still under the influence of the gravity. Let me speed up. Yeah. Now we are outside and edge. Go to the next planet. Yeah. And we can land here too. No worries. But I'm not gonna test that because it's working. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.